Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the MIDI Choke plugin in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I've already created a drum machine using Resample-Matic 5000, which is the sampler that comes with Reaper. This plugin is useful for just about any drum machine or sampler, but it's really helpful for this one. So let's go through what I set up. Now the way this plugin works is you need one instance of the plugin per sample. So I set up one for my kick on C1. One for my snare on D1. One for my clap on E1. One for my closed hi-hat on F sharp one. One for a medium hi-hat on G sharp one. An open hi-hat on B flat one. One for a short triangle on C2. And a long triangle on D2. But there's one problem with using these plugins as a drum machine. I'll play a drum part and show you. Notice the open hat doesn't cut off when I play the closed hat, or it doesn't choke. That's because we have to set that up with a separate plugin. Now, what I used to do before I found this plugin is I would go to the open hi hat and turn on Obey Note Offs. This way the sound of that hat only plays when I hold down that key. If I let go, it stops. So I could play the part like this. Where I hold down the open hat and let it go just at the end. But that's a bit awkward. And it's really not how it's supposed to work. So instead, we're going to use the plugin called MIDI Choke. So let's double click over here and we'll search MIDI Choke. Here's the plugin right here. And we need to put it before the other ones. Otherwise, it won't work. So put it before the other plugins. And let's go through this. The first option is to set the MIDI channel. Now, by default, Resample-Matic uses the MIDI channel 0 for all channels, so it really doesn't matter. But if you set this up with specific MIDI channels, you're going to want to change this to one of those. Otherwise, it doesn't matter, so I'll keep it at 1. Then you want to set up the choke note range start. This is the first note where you want to trigger the choke, in this case with the closed hi-hat, which is set up to F sharp 1, or 42. So go back to that and set this up to be 42, which just happens to be the default. But we can change it right here. Then we want to choose the number of choke notes. So it starts here and it can go all the way up one key at a time. So if we leave this at one, just number 42 is going to choke our note. If we bring it higher, It'll be 42 and 43, 42, 43, and 44, and so on. But let's leave this at just 42. Then we'll choose a note that's affected. In other words, the note we're going to choke. So that's going to be the open hi hat, which is set up to be flat one or 46. So we'll set that up to 46, which again is already set up by default. But we could change it right here. So right now, this feature should be working. If I hit B flat one and then hit F sharp one, it should choke the open hi hat. And it does. So now if I play that beat, it plays perfectly like it should. But there's still one problem with it. We still have a medium hi hat on G sharp one, and that's not going to choke. 
unless we set it up in one of two different ways. Go back to this one here, number of choke notes, and bring it up to three. So now it's going to choke with F sharp one, with G one, and G sharp one. So now I can play the same part using the medium hi hat instead. But we could set it up a bit differently. Instead of using the range right here by adding notes one at a time, we can go down here and just add additional choke notes. And we have four to choose from. So let's choose the first one and set that up to be 44, which is the medium hi hat. 44. So we'll set that up to be 44. Another choking will work with 42 or 44. But it's not going to work with G1. So by doing it this way, we just specify which notes. But if we do it over here, it's going to choke based on a range of notes. Now I should mention that it's important that we leave on obey note offs for the sound we want to choke. If we leave this off, it's not going to choke. So we have to leave this on and keep in mind that obey note offs isn't going to work anymore. So if I play short notes, it still holds on for the full length. But if we turn the plugin off with this on, it'll cut off when we let go. But this has to be on to work with MIDI choke. It's just not going to obey the note offs anymore. But you can choke it with the notes we chose. In this case, 42 and 44. And we could set up the same thing for any notes we want to choke. Could be a crash cymbal we want to cut off in the middle, or we could also use it for percussion. I have a triangle on C2 and D2. But when you play your part, it's not going to sound right. Because the long note should be cutting off. So let's add another MIDI choke plugin for the triangle. Again, we'll put it at the beginning, although we could just put it before the triangle. It doesn't really matter. Then we'll go to the long note, turn on obey note offs, go to the choke. For the choke note, we'll choose C2 which is 48. Then the long note is D2 or 50. So we'll change that right here to 50. And it should work the same way. So the triangle is being cut off or choked by the short note. just as it works for the hi-hat. And we save our MIDI drum machine by right-clicking over here and saving it as an effects chain. Save all effects as chain. It's going to save the MIDI choke plugins as well, as part of the drum kit we created. So that's pretty much it. That's the MIDI choke plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!